Okay, so far we talked about the types of operation. Another kind of, let's say, operation is to operate either in single or multiple stages. So let me explain you what's a single stage. Probably you know it by the flash. Remember those exercises in your mass balances classes in which you had a feed and you separate them into gas and liquid because the flash has equilibrium conditions at the given temperature and pressures. So the same is true for absorption. Remember that the main goal of absorption is to, you have a gas with a solute, let's say Y, will interact and with the liquid and the liquid will strip or the gas will give the solid right here. Let's call it X, just to differ the solute in the gas and liquid uh, phases. Okay, so what are we saying here is that temperature and pressure will be fixed and if we have fixed condition or initial conditions, let's say one, so at time zero, which technically is not time zero, but I like to say time zero. At the initial conditions, you will have a certain value of Y1 at the gas phase. Let's say this is 3% of whatever material we're talking about. The main idea is to, we know that the liquid has certain solubility towards this. Let's say initially this is zero because this is pure, even though later on you can see that maybe it has 1%, so 3% and 1%, there's a little bit of interaction as well. So we have this part right here, let's say it's the tank or a container. So actually this is our system, the container, and we know that the liquid will be here and the gas will be here. So if we let this to uh, enter in equilibriums, let's say Y fraction, Y1 and X1, we know that the solute, let's let it be these little guys, dots. So they will go to the liquid phase because of equilibrium. Remember that you need to choose or select a solvent that favors this. If you know that the liquid you're using does not favor this, then you fail at the selection of the solvent. So this will let time pass and let's say time passes by and this is now time X. Uh, well, actually let's use time after, let's say this is time B. So this is initially and this is a time B, which is when equilibrium is achieved. So we know that not any longer Y1 is the same value and X1 by definition can't be the same number. So let's call this after this time y2 and the liquid x2. So we know that this will decrease because some material has gone to the liquid phase and this must increase. So we have here, we know that the gas is getting leaner or let's say it's getting clean and the liquid is stripping the solid so it must increase in concentration. So as you can see, this will be a good absorption process but what, what will happen if actually we want to remove 3%, let's say this was 2%, and this went to 1%. And let's say that we want final conditions of maybe 0.5% in the gas phase. So of course there was another, let's say engineer, we thought why not add another extra stage? We can see that 1% decrease, Let's see if we add another stage and maybe we decrease a little bit more. So this is the main idea of multiple stages. We are working with several single stages. So remember each of the container is one stage, but what we are doing is arranging these in several stages. So all of them have the same temperature and pressure conditions, but they do not have the same liquid and gas phase conditions. That is, Y1, Y2, Y3, and 4, and X1, 2, 3, and 4 are not the same. Actually, as you can see, X is going to increase as we follow to the right, and Y should decrease as we go to the right. Okay, this type of operation is called co-current flow. You can see the, the flows or the currents go in the same manner. So what happened here is maybe we got this 3%, remember, we were operating, and then we got 2%. And then we got maybe 1%. And remember that our objective was to get to the 0.5%. So you can see this is a very creative way to use stages. 
and this was 0%, maybe it increased to 1% and then 2% and maybe even 3%. This will be what you will want. But the problem right here is that it's kind of tedious to work with several unit operations. And as you can see, they will take plenty of time. The, con the construction is going to be expensive and it's kind of hard to have the same conditions, temperature and pressure, even though it will be great if we could do that. So another type of operation is the countercurrent operation. We're going to see those later on. But this makes more sense in that this is very low. In this case, X will be zero because it's the clean solvent. And the gas is the highest concentration right here in the initial condition. So what's happening here is that 3 decreases to 2, 1, and 0 0.5. And still, this goes 1, 2, and 3. The main difference is that uh, when we design, we will see that this takes less time and it's much more efficient. We're going to explain that later on. But what I want you to get the idea is that it's kind of hard to favor this condition as it goes because the liquid to the left, the gas to the right. So someone had the brilliant idea to build a tower with several, let's say, stages. Because we already, as you can see, we're already working with multiple stages. This is stage number one, stage number two, and stage number three. So what someone, another engineer, imagined was, what if I build a tower instead of a pipe? Even though you could, in theory, make this arrangement, maybe a pipe with several trays. But actually what is much more efficient, and you will get to see that in the industry we see this extensively is towers. So in, in here you get the liquid, you know that the liquid is going to drop by gravity and the gas goes directly here. You know that the gas, because it has different in densities, will go upwards. It is exactly the same. We got here the trays, tray one, two and three. So we got tray one, two and three. The main idea is that actually each tray can act as this unit operation and you will see that the trays are very much cheaper than the unit operation is separated. So the tray what favors is that gas interacts with the liquid. So this is called multiple stage operation. This is counter current operation, even though you could have a multiple stage operation. You could have the addition of gas, even though it will be kind of hard to favor, you will have to add much more compression here. You will need to compress the gas in order to favor gas going down and interact with the liquid. So that's why we use this type of arrangement, the countercurrent operation in vertical columns. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea of what is a single stage. It's very important. If you don't get the idea of how absorption works in a single stage, well, getting the idea of how it works in multiple stage, countercurrent, co-current flows will be kind of hard. So please try to re re review this section right here, this lecture, and understand why do we want several stages.